to show you one um, different painting uh, which anybody can do in a very fun and easy way. Here you just need is a canvas board or you can do it on a hard cardboard paper also. All you need is, you don't need any pencil, colors, anything, just the board, a tape and some paint colors. Uh, so what you need is, to do is, you just move the tape, cut the tape with your hand and paste it. When you paste, just make sure that you do it on the back side so that the finishing comes out good. Here you can use any pattern, any way it can go. Your kids will also allow to do this. They can make their own designs. Cut it and paste it. All you have to do is just cut and paste it. Anyways, just in case if you leave like this in between, then what you need to do is you need to hide that with the another tape. To get a good finishing. Just make sure you get all the edges properly. And just like this you keep on cover, do it with the tape and you get, you can make any design like this. The next thing is you'll take a flat brush like this and here are some paints you can use different paints and you can do you just have to paint each block you can use the same paint for two different or all different colors or whatever you like you can also do one uh, use one paint for the entire design black and white then make sure you don't take too much water for this. Here is some green paint I am going to use. And when you paint, just make sure that the you do it in a, in a one angle. Like don't do like this, like this. The paint should be equal to get a good finishing effect. Then here I am going to use some. Some of the orange real quick. Then I'm gonna use some shades of purple here. I'm trying to use two shades at a time. I mean one color at two areas. I'm also going to use some black. It would look a little bit messy right now, but the effect would come out nice. You can also mix two colors. Just do your, just be creative and do all different kinds of stuff. You can experiment different stuff. Here I'm going to use some yellow. And here one more small area is left. I'm going to use black here too make sure there is no white space in here otherwise it doesn't come out good and one more shade I need is I'll just take uh, green here all right so then your your painting would look like this here I think I have one more space left let me cover a little space with yellow. And now 
the first thing is you have to leave it to leave this thing to dry for a few minutes but here I'm gonna show you a different I want a different effect different texture effect so I'm just gonna put one rag on top of the painting and damp it and take it over so you'll get a little uh, textured effect you can also do each of them press it down so that it dries quickly also and you get a little texture effect now is the fun thing your kid will like all the kids like to remove the tape so first from the from the back it looks like this because I have taped everywhere so just gonna remove some tape from the back first so it's easy You can also, instead of paint, you can, they, uh, they can also do it with um, oil pastels or pencil colors or any other crayons. And you just remove this tape. A little bit that tape will be sticky. Alright, so then you get this effect. And then to make it more fun, I have some um, stickers. These are just simple stickers which has some beads on it. So the kids love this. Make, you have to just stick it is in the white area. Exactly in the center of the white area and just press it down. You can stick other whatever you have at home you can stick stickers you can stick some beads or even you can stick some borders what I am doing is because I have horizontal and vertical lines here so I'm gonna uh, stick pink diagonally this way and then I'm gonna use uh, purple for the other sides so here is the pink I've used and then I'm gonna use some purples for my this one. this sticker is a little bit sticky so you have to you can cut it easily with your hand. Make sure you press that properly. almost done this is a very great idea to give gift at the last moment for a birthday party or anything like mother's day gift or marriage anniversary and here I have used these geometrical designs but it's not necessary you have to use that you can be creative, make hearts out of the tape, house, boat, anything, you know. Just do anything and play with the colors. If you want to give a black and white effect, just paint black over it or just any one color you can use. And 
here is the last one I need here and then just write your name and the final project would like look like this have fun using this and if you have any questions please feel free to write a comment thank you